February 1st, we packed up the car saying goodbye to the winter snow. We headed to the tiniest airport I have ever been to. Very simple, very easy. The kind of international airports that you like. Jumped on a plane with our family and took a four hour flight to Mexico. We were welcomed with beautiful color, culture, and traditional Mexican music. And how could we say no to these? So good. So good. Since we've arrived in Mexico, we've taken some fun rides in multiple modes of transportation. And today, we are hitting the road in a rental car, taking you to a place where we can haggle our way through 600 <laughs> vendors. This place is huge. I'm so confused. We will be bombarded with lunch options and make a quick stop to the beach. Come join us as we take you to explore Mercado Viente Ocho. We searched a couple of days for a car rental company and we found Avasa and we would definitely recommend them. They had lots of vehicles to choose from and they made the process very easy. I'm going to leave more details in the description box below. The inspection process was super quick and soon we would be hitting the road. So now that we got a car, we got to come into 7-Eleven and get some sort of beverage to take with us for the drive. Let's see what we can find. Oh, they have all these good snacks. You're getting a coffee? Wow. I don't know. Anybody else out there need a drink when they're driving? Not one of those drinks. Just a beverage to sip on while they're driving. The one thing I enjoy about driving is cruising around. Usually when Jay and I go for drives back home, we would stop at Tim Hortons and get a coffee. In the summertime, we'd get an ice cap and just kind of cruise. So we've rented a car, we're getting some drinks, and we're heading to Cancun. No, Jay's getting a coffee. I think I'm going to get some Pringles. <laughs> and these waters. We made it to Mercado Viente Ocho, Market 28. <laughs> I like to say that because there's not many Spanish words I can say and I practiced before I went on camera. <laughs> this place is huge. It has so many stalls, one after the other after the other. <laughs> so many things. Hey babe. So many things. So many things. So many. Kind of what I thought a little bit though. So many of the shops are the same, same. stuff over yeah. and over again. A lot of, yeah. But there, there are different ones. You just yeah. kind of got to go from zone. Like they're in sections, right? Yeah, zone yeah. to zone, they change a little bit. Yeah. But there's so think, many. I think we lost the rents. Oh, I like this bag. Look at this bag with the skull candy on it. How cool. I like the skulls. Oh, I didn't see this pink one down here. It's cute. So cute. And the buildings are so colorful. Wow. Yeah, there's like shop after shop after shop. If you're looking for something, anything, you can find it here. Wow. Please building behind me. I love all the colors.
This one's kind of cute with the butterflies on it. Whatever you want. Oh! <laughs> If I put this on, is somebody gonna pick me up and slam me on the ground? <laughs> yeah. Come on here. Ah, no, they're Oh my god, hey! Oh! Oh, look at that. Oh my. This is the Santo. This is the. Can you say this? Wow. This is blue, blue Demon? Yeah. Blue Demon? Yes. This the Mexicans together as the Campeon. The champion. Come on. I've been looking at all your place. Look I think it is this place. This is the picture, my friend. Look, Cuba cigar, uh, chasas, no dominoes. No dominoes? Yes, look. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye. Those masks were funny. Hola. <laughs> Hola. Hola. Does anyone else hate bartering? <laughs> I absolutely hate it. I would rather just know the price and pay what they're asking. I always feel like when you go to a market and they give you a price, they're like trying to like get the most money out of you. I know it's it's markets and you have to negotiate, but I just hate it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Especially when you're not really looking, we're not really looking for anything specific. Like we have like zero room in our carry-ons to bring anything home, but when you're not looking for something, they're like, oh, come look at my stuff, come look at my stuff. It's like, I'm not really looking for anything, but I'll look just to look. But shopping is supposed to be fun and exciting. I don't want to feel like I'm getting ripped off every time I'm going to buy something. Not that I am getting ripped off, but that's how I feel when they start off with a really high price and then you, they say go half and then start negotiating from there. I'm like, is that too much? Is that too less? I just don't know. That's why I don't like to haggle. <laughs> For those that know me know I'm a crafter and I've made lots of different crafts and lots of different bracelets. So when I see bracelets at places like this. I know how much it costs to make them back home. So it's hard for me to like, pay triple for, no thank you. Oh, they're so cute. No thank you. It's hard for me to pay like triple or more for a bracelet that I can make for less than $3. So that's always in the back of my head. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know, but definitely spend a lot of time here, that's for sure. Even when you come to the food court, <laughs> what are you hungry for? it's crazy. Are you I don't know. Um, I could just have like something like a taco or a... Amigo. Amigo. Two beers, 16 pesos. Two beers. <laughs> Two beers for 16 beer, pesos. pesos. <laughs> what? Four beers. What? Four beers. Check them. I don't need four of them. Check the price. It's more cheaper than this thing. I'm so confused. I need a table for four. Oh my gosh. We just want some food. <laughs> oh, we're gonna sit. Yikes, crazy. It's like as soon as you walk in, they attack you. Go here, go here. Oh my gosh. All right, we found a spot. We can sit and relax. There is a first for everything. Drinking a Corona for the first time. <laughs> it was a deal. 100 pesos for four Coronas. So here goes nothing. 
lunch and the corona wasn't too bad actually I would definitely I would order another one 100 pesos for four that's like less than two dollars a corona awesome after spending a few hours at the market we hopped back in the car and headed to the beach and we were entertained along the way We enjoyed our time at the market even though I don't like haggling, but we stopped to see the water and that was probably my most favorite part of the day. Even though it was windy, the water was beautiful. 